Welcome to the Ratnanidhi world, a world where every child and disabled person has access to nutrition, education, clothing, and mobility to develop holistically. Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust was established in 1990 by our visionary Mr. Mahindra Mehta with the mission to tackle the problems of poverty in Mumbai, especially amongst young children. Over the years, the Trust has grown rapidly in its mobility, educational and other philanthropic projects, both in India and other developing countries like Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan and Africa. World hunger is eating away at our future. India alone inhabits 212 million undernourished people, that is one-third of the world's total. Ratnanidhi's Food for Education program has served 2 crore 42 lakh 52,057 meals since 1998 with 5 lakh 61,832 meals in 42 schools in the year 2016-17 alone. Ensuring better nutrition, hence better attention at class while lowering school dropout rates, one hot meal at a time. Little Gulshan, studying in grade 3, enjoys her meals at school given by Ratnanidhi. They keep her healthy and help her concentrate to do well in class. With Food for Education, Ratnanidhi ensures that school-going kids like Gulshan don't have to worry about where their next meal will come from and can instead concentrate on building a brighter tomorrow. Along with food, clothing is another basic essential that an individual needs to sustain and survive. To give an underprivileged person a pair of clothes is as good as dressing him with self-respect. With an intent to dress the needy with dignity, our volunteers collect castaway clothes, repair and mend them if required and package them with love to look as good as new. Ratnanidhi has donated 55,096 clothes in the last year and a total of 11,10,806 garments since the inception of the Garment Distribution Project in 1992. And it doesn't end here. We also distribute toys, books and computers which add joy and light to the lives of these children. Food and clothing builds one's self-esteem, but knowledge makes an individual self-reliant. Ratnanidhi in association with Alibaba Group has launched Mission Million Books Project which seeks to donate 1 million educational books to 10,000 low-income schools and colleges in India. Exhibitions are organized in rural India where schools and colleges pick up books of their choice for their library. This has impacted the lives and minds of thousands of children in rural India. So far, we have donated 2.94 lakh books to 3,500 schools and colleges in rural Maharashtra. Mission Million Book is one step toward helping improve the accessibility of quality reading material to Indian students. This is a great initiative and help us in reaching rural India with books that will empower thousands of children. Ratnanidhi's collaboration with Rotary India Literacy Mission has led to a remarkable beginning of a movement that will provide inclusive and equitable education for the underprivileged and promote lifelong learning for all. We believe that we are a modern-day Robin Hood, taking from those who have and do not want and giving it to those who need and do not have. With the aim to set up 10,000 libraries across India, this partnership will facilitate access to quality reading material for millions of children across the country, giving rise to the Aryabhattas, Einsteins and Steve Jobs of the next generation. Breaking the education cycle is exactly like a slow death. In the face of tragedy, where the earning member of the family is lost, education is often sidelined. Our education sponsorship for the children of terror victims ensures that the child looks beyond the traumatic incident and makes a place for themselves in the competitive world because they are the architects of the future. Since 2003, 391 affected students have been provided with educational sponsorship. In July 2011, the Mumbai terrorist attacks gave Sandeep Kulup's father a lifelong disability. He lost both his legs. Knowing that the loss was irreplaceable, Sandeep's mother decided to start working as a domestic help. But unfortunately, 
she was not able to manage the house finance and her children's education together. This is where Ratnanidhi stepped in to support all three brothers and help them continue their education. Sandeep, the eldest, aspires to become a mechanical engineer. Such incidents could have led to the children working at a young age to earn their bread. But education now allows them to keep their dreams and hopes alive. At catastrophic times, a helping hand does a lot to revive hope and faith for the victims. Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust has always been in the forefront whenever such a natural upheaval has occurred. Following heavy rain in July 2017, Ratnanidhi in association with Share and Care Foundation USA and Rotary Club of Palanpur City distributed kitchen utensils and 2,360 garments to 475 families affected in Banaskantha district due to floods. Ratnanidhi also provides prosthetic and orthopedic aid to the injured, giving those affected a new hope and new life because disability does not mean inability. According to the census of India 2011, 2.21% of India's population is differently abled. Ratnanidhi Charitable Trust has been giving a new lease on life to those who have been deprived of the basic privileges of health and mobility through camps across India delivering crutches, calipers, tricycles and installing artificial limbs to those in need. Since 2001, Ratnanidhi has provided 2,52,577 mobility appliances. This is Muskan, 11-year-old beneficiary who loves skipping. Muskan ranks first in her class and aspires to become a doctor. With our intervention, many Muskans stand tall today and ready to achieve their dreams. We strongly believe in the ideology of Jeev Daya. For the first time, Ratnanidhi has fabricated a Jaipur foot made by the expert technicians for an amputee stray dog who could barely stand, let alone walk or run. He came to us from Ahinsa, a medical center for dogs, having lost his leg in an accident and living a life of despair. Now with the help of Jaipur foot, he can walk, bend his leg to drink water, climb stairs and run around with fellow dogs. The then under construction Ratnanidhi Physiotherapy Center is now functional and serving as a hub for physiotherapy treatment for differently abled people. Along with the Physiotherapy Center, we had also started with one more ambitious project. Ratnanidhi Leg, which has been developed in collaboration with IIT Mumbai and Google.org, leverages on 3D printing technology to deliver prosthetic legs using robotics. These low-cost prosthetic legs have increased the capacity to serve amputees. 106 field trials are being done, helping beneficiaries get accurate prosthetic legs fixed. This year, we have taken up a very ambitious challenge of making Mumbai City disability-free. Ratnanidhi is organizing mobility camps in different wards of Mumbai, generating monetary support from the local corporates and companies along with the help of local communities. Starting with A. Kulaba Ward, this model of collaboration and partnership aims to scale up all across Mumbai and make our beloved city completely disability-free. And Mumbai is just the beginning. We aim to make a sizable dent in the world by transforming each individual from dependent to independent. With the objective of benefiting people not only in the accessible places but also in remote areas, we decided to go to Ladakh. It was a tough challenge for Ratnanidhi to set up mobility camps in the mountains. But we were successful in conducting a four-day mobility camp at Mahabodhi International Meditation Centre in Leh Ladakh, where 488 mobility and hearing aids were donated. Well, trusts like Ratnagiri and our own Sangha here. Sir. As the Mahakaruna, the MFC. Sir, if you could. In fact, it is these groups which are totally missionary need every support from every every quarter, whether it's government or non-government. Because here is whatever you give them will reach the real benefit. And here are a few stories of lives that Ratnanidhi has touched and bettered.
Sahil, the youngest of eight siblings, lost his mother to cancer. His siblings run the house now. He says that his mother was an extremely strong woman. His mother would give him a good breakfast in the morning. Now he has to wait till noon at school where he gets a hot meal. When asked if he felt hungry, he says that you have to have patience, right? Pradeep was just few months old when he got a high fever. Unfortunately, the remedial injection he was given reacted negatively and affected the growth of his legs. After wearing a caliper, he now plans to look after the telephone booth and do some additional work to support himself financially. Abhishek lost his father in the bomb blast that took place at Opera House. From then on, it has been a difficult road for Abhishek and his mother. Yet, the persistent thoughts of education led him to our doors, making him the recipient of our educational grant. This helped Abhishek continue his studies despite the financial hurdles. And it is this kind of impact that makes a world of a difference. In fact, Forbes quotes Ratnanidhi as Asia's 2017 Heroes of Philanthropy and CNBC TV 80 has featured Ratnanidhi's efforts in the global cause of serving the community by striving to eradicate hunger, poverty and illiteracy from its roots. Our work to create this community wouldn't have been possible without the numerous collaborations with people who believed in Ratnanidhi and its vision. A vision to uproot disability, hunger and lack of education. Let's imagine the impact and let's create one together for this community called humanity.